Psalm chapter 55. Verse 16, and it reads, As for me, I will call upon the Heavenly Father, and the Lord shall save me. Evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. But guys, with people here, forbear. It's pretty much a quick little lesson on just praying more. You know. Coming to the end of this thing, coming to the end of an age, you can see it clearly, the way things are going. And the Lord say, here is the prayers of the righteous, but his face is against those that do evil. When you pray, that shows faith. And without faith, we can't please the Heavenly Father or His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus. So we need to pray more. No, it's, it's going down, Israel. And this devil's about to make it matter. So we go over this all the time through the spirit. This devil, this deceiver, this slanderer is about to make it mandatory. I mean, all the games that's going on, all the, you know, all this, all, all the bug out machine is activated, all, all that. With everything that's going on, the job closing, the storms, the floods, the wars. I mean, why wouldn't you pray more? With everything that's going on right about now, why wouldn't you pray more? And the word prayer goes back to beg, to beg. Begging the Lord for mercy, praying for more mercy. Praying for more fear because that's the beginning of knowledge of the Lord. Praying for more prayer. All the above, the Lord said, if you're lacking anything, pray. Pray for it. So we pray for it now. Let's get this again. And like the caption on the screen, the Heavenly Father is never blind to your tears. You think, you think the Lord don't see us down here, catching hell from this devil, going through our day-to-day -day struggles, ailments, or whatever we're going through? Think the Lord don't see that? Yeah, he, he sees everything. The eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding the evil and the good, the good and the evil. It says the Heavenly Father is never blind to your tears, never deaf to your prayers, and never silent to your pain. The Lord sees everything. It's part of the movie. Let's get it again. So just something, something quick about the head out. Lord willing, get this daily bread. Everybody stay um, hydrated. Drink plenty of water. It's, it's summertime. Got to pray more, man. It's, going, it, it's, it's really going down. It, it's not going to turn back from here on out. It's going to get tougher and tougher and rougher and rougher. Sirach chapter 2, verse 1. At the top, it tells us, when we come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So we're going to be constantly getting tempted. So we got to be constantly praying. Let's get it again. Psalm chapter 55, verse 16. As for me, I will call upon the heavenly father, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. That's, what, that's why you got to make sure you get that name right. Can't just call on anybody. Look at the people that was calling on Allah. Look what happened to them. 13, 14, 15, 16, 1700 of them just dropped to deletion. Just, just straight up just dropped to the ground. Gone. Gone. That's why we got to make sure we're praying to the right person, the right entity. Can't just be praying to anybody. Can't just say, oh, yeah, uh, I don't, I don't, I, I'm going to just make up. I'm looking at the news now. Damn, I'm caught upside down on, on the side of the road. Got to be praying, man. These people got demons on them. And the scriptures say we um, um, wrestle not against flesh and blood. But principality, we constantly um, fight against spirits. So we got to be constantly praying. 
Before you lay down, pray. Before you eat, pray. Before you walk out the door, pray. Before you, before you turn on the car, pray. Before you get on the bus, before you get on the train, before you get on the plane, pray. Before you go to camp, for brothers that do go to camp and go teach this word, pray. Before I do lessons, I pray. Say a little quick little prayer. As the Lord to just guide the lesson. And the Lord willing to make it edifying to the whole elect of the nation of Israel. Things of that they do. Quick little prayer, then bam, you're gone. As for me, the Lord is not slack that he can't hear your prayers. It is madness. It's, it's, it's all good, though. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Just know that. Psalms 55 and 16, as for me, I will call upon Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Let everybody, you, you want to call on something else? Look, look, go ahead. Go ahead. But, but like Joshua said, you know what I'm saying? As for me, in my house, we will serve the Lord. If it seemed evil unto you to pray to the Lord, to call on the Lord, to believe in the Lord, then choose you this day. Who you going to serve then? Choose it. With all hell breaking loose, choose, choose, choose an idol then. Since you don't want to worship the true and living power, then go in and choose you an idol then and see how that work out. Go, go worship a tree. Go worship a rock. Go ahead. Go worship a statue and see if it gets you out of the predicament that's going to befall the earth. Hell, this is happening right about now, but it's going to get worse. As for me, I will call upon Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and the Lord shall save me. That's why you can't just call on anything. You can't call on your play yogurt. And, 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 and that, that wasn't even funny. Somebody said that nonsense. Everybody started laughing. That ain't funny. You don't take the name of the Lord in vain. It's as bad as we need help. Even in that morning and at noon, will I pray? Beg the Lord, beg the Lord all throughout the day. We need, we need help all throughout the day. We're subject to anything happening. Anything can happen to us throughout the day. Anything. And cry aloud and he shall hear my voice because you're calling on the right name. Because you're calling on the right name. Let's just get this too. And it takes faith to pray too. Let's just get this right quick. It takes faith to pray. This Acts chapter 4, just throw this in here. And I'm just flowing in the spirit. Like I said, Lord willing, the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel is edified. The Lord, the Lord says, seek him now. Pray to him now. Record breaking temperature. Look, 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 108. It's the index fact is going to feel like 108 today. Well, 104 where I'm at. 108 in other parts of the Carolinas. And this is just the Carolinas. Acts chapter 4. Let's just get this right quick. Acts chapter 4, verse 12, and it reads, Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. That's why you got to call on the right name. Because you call on any other name, you're not going to get saved. For you Israelites too. You hopeful Lex out there. You call on any other name. Other than the proper name in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, you out of there. You you know that yourself. I mean, that's common knowledge right there. That's common knowledge. You can't just call someone anything. Your best friend walking down the street, his name Dave. You call him Steve. You think Dave is going to turn around? Do you think Dave is going to turn around if you call him Steve? Let that make sense. His name Dave, you calling him Kevin. You think he going to turn around? How much more the Lord? The Lord like, oh, that ain't my name. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You don't play around with those names, period. Because what would it say again? Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. And we sure enough need saving because we're not saved yet. We are yet this day in our captivity. That's Baruch chapter um, 3, verse 8, right? 
For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So when, so when you're praying noon in the evening and at night, you, you just call it on any name. You, you're not even trying to get the name right. That means you don't have faith then. You ain't got faith. Let's get this right quick. Let's get what faith is. So, like I said before, just something quick, man. <clears throat> something quick. Hebrews chapter 11. The heavenly father is never blind to your tears, never deaf to your prayers, and never silent to your pain. Right? Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. And it reads, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And all we got is our faith. All we got is our faith. And we can't give it to nobody. We can't give nobody faith. We ain't, give our, we ain't even give ourselves faith. It's a gift. We can get, we can get that too. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. We, we might have a chance to get that. Might not. Because I got to get ready to roll. Just, just throwing something out there to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and speckled birds, meaning Israelites has been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And you may look like different one of these nations. You may look like one of these different nations. But we got to show up, um, get our prayer on, because we're about to lose a whole lot of things on this side. This, this ain't our rest anyway. You see? The Lord didn't say we're going to wake up with, with the things that we have now. The Lord didn't tell us that we're going to wake up tomorrow with it. So slowly, slowly but surely, these things are going to be taken away from us. Better get used to it. Get used to the squeeze. Get used to um, difficulties. Get used to things changing overnight. You see, the unknown. But we got hope, though. We got hope. You see the caption on the top of the screen. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 again. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So faith is to believe in something that you don't see. Like when we pray, when we pray evening, noon, and at night to a power that we haven't even seen, guess that's, that's what that's called, faith. And when we're praying to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, without even seeing them, Guess what that's called? That's called faith. And let's jump down. Let's get um six. The, the whole chapter is a good read. Hebrews chapter 11, verse six. And it reads, but without faith, but without believing in something you haven't seen. Cause look, that, that you, the heavenly father is powerful. Gave us a gift to believe and to pray and to ask and to beg. A power that we haven't even seen for certain, for protection, for guidance, for understanding, for more prayer, more faith, more trust, more hope, more brotherly love, all the above, man. You see, more discernment. Faith is a wonderful gift. Because what it say again, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. So, so when we're praying to the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, guess, the, guess what? That takes faith, man. It takes faith to pray and to believe that your prayers are going to be answered to. That takes faith. But without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he that cometh to the Heavenly Father must believe that He is and that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. The Lord is a reward of those that diligently, diligently seek him. Not coming with ulterior motives and things of that nature. Gal. Nah. You're, we're diligently seeking the Lord. And then the Lord put his spirit on us to even do that. All things are being controlled by the Lord, man. I want to get something else, though. Prayers. Let's get this, though. Um, let's see. Yep. And we got the Lord's prayer. The Lord, told, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that too, Lord. Well, most of them, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw that in there. The Lord um, gave us the prayer too. The prayer to pray. Um, the Lord's prayer. First Peter chapter three verse twelve, and it reads, "For the eyes of the Lord power, which are the angels, are over the righteous." That's why you got angels just popping up. 
Get more chariot sightings popping up. And remember, the angels of Psalms 34 and 7, the angels of the Lord and kept it round about them that fear him and delivered them out of all their troubles. We got to remember that every day. We got forces around us. We got we got forces trying to attack us, but then we got also got forces around us protecting us every second of the day. First Peter chapter three verse twelve: For the eyes of the Lord power, which are the angels, are over the righteous, and His ears are open unto their prayers. Sound important prayers. And then Raphael, you know what I'm saying? So um, and Tobias that he's he's the angel, you know what I'm saying? To take them prayers up. I think it's Tobit the 13th chapter. Might, might have to get that. For the eyes of the Lord power over the righteous. I wish I had enough time, but I don't. And his ears are over. Look, look, the, his, oh, it's over the righteous, the elect. The ones that fear the Lord, right? Remember, he have care for his elect. Lord, when we part of that hopeful number. And his ears are open unto their prayers, their beggings. Because remember, prayer goes back to beg, to beg. So the angels here is down is down here hearing our beggings, our prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil, man. All right. Let's get this. Now, brothers do make up their own prayers through the spirit of Yahweh Baha Shim Yahushai. But this is that main one, though. St. Matthew chapter 5. St. Matthew chapter 5, or the 6. Let's see. Might be 6. Yeah, I think it's 6. 6, right? Let's see. Yep, St. Matthew chapter 6, verse 9, and it reads, this, this is that main prayer right here. Now, we make up certain prayers and things of that nature, you know, but this is that main one right here. This is the Lord's prayer. St. Matthew chapter 6, verse um, 9. After this, man, therefore, pray ye, pray ye, pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. So you can't just call him anything. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We got to be constantly praying this every day. Every day, morning, noon, and night, right? For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever and ever and ever. Oh, man. That's that, that's that main one. It was something else that I wanted to get. But I can't remember it. I can't even remember it. But it's all good, though. It's all good. Yeah, I just want to hit something quick on just praying. Oh, yeah. And don't forget on um, James 1 and 5, if, if we're lacking anything, we better pray for it. If we're lacking anything, we better pray for um oh, it was something else that I want to get right quick, man. But I can't think of it right about now. Oh yeah, I want to get Tobit, right? Let's see right quick. Um Tobit. Is it 13? October chapter 13. I'm thinking it's 13. Let's see. Let's see. I thought it was 13. Well, here go Tobit right here, praying right here. Tobit chapter 13, verse 1. Then Tobit wrote a prayer of rejoicing and said, Blessed be the heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh, that liveth forever. And blessed be 
his kingdom. It's another one. Uh, let me see. Um, Raphael. Let's see, Raphael. Well, I, I, I want to get this right quick. And then I'm going to close. Ain't going to pop up. Bear, bear with me. I found it. Tobit chapter 12, verse 15. It reads, I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels. Remember, we got angels that can't round about us, right? We sign and crying, right, for all the abominations, right? We fear the Lord, right? Which present the prayers of the saints, aka the Israelites, aka the righteous, aka the elect, and which go in and out before the glory of the Holy One. So Tobit, no saying, is one of the angels, no saying, this, um, I guess been given the, um, the order or what have you, the word escapes me, of taking our prayers up. He got a heavy job, man. He's doing it, though. No prayer, sure enough, get answered, right? Tobit, chapter 12, verse 15. I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels, which present the prayers, it's an important prayers, which present the prayers of the saints and which go in and out before the glory of the Holy One. So just a quick quick little lesson on just, just praying more. Our prayers are being heard, Israel. Don't think they ain't. Shalom.